from advantage. That's the situation in Portugal as we join John Helm. A crowd of close on 53,000 in the Stadio de Santos for the battle between the Portuguese champions FC Porto and AC Milan from Italy. Milan proving the stumbling block last year for Porto's European challenge and they've already been beaten by the Italians in the Champions League this year. This Porto side will be hoping that victory tonight can carry them to the top of Group B and into the semi-finals. The FC Porto lineup there full of familiar names but without two of their most influential players. The Bulgarian striker Kostadinov and Secretario are both missing. So suspensions cost Porto dearly, but AC Milan's coach Fabio Capello virtually able to choose a full-strength squad. The only suspension he's got is from Simone, who is likely to be one of the substitutes anyway. The referee is from Hungary and he is Sandor Poul. An interesting contrast tonight in that Porto have scored more goals than anybody else in the Champions League and Milan have conceded the fewest, only two. There you get uh, the bird's eye view of uh, the vastness of this stadium. Big open stadium on the outskirts of Porto. And the ball lost there in a bad position and that does uh, enable Boban to drive forward for Milan and to win the first corner of the match. It's a little bit of lax defending by Porto. Joe Pinto has been caught dwelling on the ball a couple of times in the early moments. Goalkeeper Vito Baya. Taking the near post is Georges Couto. And over the top it goes. Little flick header coming in from the fullback Maldini. Well, Paolo, Paolo Maldini has got one goal so far in the European Cup against Werder Bremen. Off the target this time. That's Massaro tackling back, winning the ball. Costa Curte. Some excellent technique here. The Italians playing the ball around and just over the top here for Savicevic and the goalkeeper Vito Baia just came out in the nick of time really with the ball laid over the top of the defender. That was excellent goalkeeping. Savicevic tried to get in behind Aloisio. If he'd have stretched that boot out, he might have just nicked it over the top of the keeper. Well, I'm sure that's what he was looking to do. Good keeping. Andre forward, this is more promising, Domingos now brought down, this will be a good uh, position for a free kick, as Domingos goes down under the challenge. Albertini was the offender, and it really would set this tyre light if uh, FC Porto could get the first goal in front of their own fans. Number eight is Rui Felipe, and number ten is the Romanian Timofti. Savicevic among those back there to defend. And the applause already ringing around the stadium, you'd have thought they'd scored already. Perhaps they know something we don't. And uh, the shot, whistles over the top. Three feet too high, I would think. And here it comes, Timofti, in fact. Curling viciously over the top. Aloisio, and he cracked it against the legs of a defender. It's given Savicevic a chance to really run at the uh, defence here, and he's trying to tee one up. Well spotted indeed by Vito Bahia. That was Aloisio, who's uh, just a little bit uh, too calm in his passing of the ball. Set Milan forward, and now they've got a free kick of their own for the foul on Boba. Brought down uh, by Rui Felipe. Uh, 
And uh, Milan, as you can see, have half a dozen players inside the Porto penalty area. One of them's now vacated it, but it's swung in dangerously, and the keeper finally gets a grasp on the ball at the second time of asking. It's had a positive start, though, the Portuguese number one. And he really is his country's number one, has been for the last five years. He exudes confidence and he might have to do again now. Savicevic again is the, the man running at the defence. Sweeps one in here. Good. Down goes uh, Massaro and uh, nothing for him. You have to say Milan looked dangerous on the counter break. Massaro uh, still talking to the referee, I fancy, about the challenge on him there. You've got to say that Jao Pinto did dive in a little bit on the back of... Look at that, he really did seem to flatten Massaro. Maldini. Saw Boban in some space. Picked up by Savicevic and it's threaded through again. What a lovely ball this one is for Carbona. Savicevic is in here and a critical tackle made by Aloisio. Savicevic really looks on form tonight. He's, he's keyed up for this one, keen to impress. Place is very much at a premium, of course, and with a, a European Cup semi final beckoning, they all want to be impress their manager. Domingos, again Desai is one who uh, gets a foot in it, and when it does break, it's uh, presented to him off to as the chance, said you that uh, AC Milan penalty area, Andre sweeps it out here to Rui Jorge. And this will be another free kick uh, against Milan, and it will be a yellow card shown to Carbona. First of the evening, and his first in the European Cup. A lot of bookings and Carbona just followed through there onto the opponent. Uh, that now makes uh, seven of the starting lineup of AC Milan who've actually got yellow cards against their names at the moment. The crowd would love to see a goal for the home side. Bobby Robson would love to see one as well, and he's prancing up and down on the touchline. Oh, and the goalkeeper. Well, if somebody had been coming in there a little more alertly, Rossi might well have been humiliated. Whether he just takes his eye off the ball as Timofti swings this one and there's nobody anywhere near him. But uh, he might well have been humbled. Desai. Way back from Massaro to Albertini and now Maldini. Boban's wide on the left. Confronted by three defenders, so instead he lifts one up here into the area, and uh, it's going to end up very handily for Vito Baia. Neither goalkeeper still, I would say, has had a save to make. Really, very few alarms, and uh, we're already into time added on in the first half. And that's half time. Not a lot of incident in that first half. It's Porto nil, Milan nil. Here, nil nil, the half-time score between two teams who would seem to be destined for the semi-finals. The feeling that grew in the first half was that uh, neither side was really hurting the other, there were a few challenges going in, a lot of free kicks, but uh, there wasn't a lot of goal mouth incident. Porto had three shots during that first half, uh, none of which were on target, Milan didn't have a single shot. But let's see what sort of entertainment they can serve up uh, in the second half of this last of the six Champions League matches leading up to the semis. Here's Savicevic getting a ball in, that was a good ball too, and Fernando Couto had to stoop to head it out. <laughs> Fernando 
Sergio Pinto's won 64 caps for his country now and he's played not a bad ball for Domingos who'll take on Barese this time and he's quick, he's very fleet of foot and he's inside that penalty area and he's knocking one across here which is put out of harm's way by Carboni tracking back and that's probably the most exciting moment we've had because Domingos for once had got the better of Barese here he is turning him inside out, that's lovely play from Domingos and then it's a deep cross and excellently tracked back by Carboni Timofti will take the corner, swinging this out with the left foot but again they've got so little height, Fernando Couto's gone up there maybe he'll get on it, Aloisio, great save Tremendous stop by Rossi, he's six feet four this fellow and he really spread himself to keep that one out of the net and it's a much better start to the second half Swung in here by Timofti, it was uh, Fernando Kutu who got it initially and then it's driven in by Domingos, the keeper made the save and uh, it wouldn't have counted apparently It's as well it didn't go in the net. The reaction would have been intense on the referee. That's nicely laid through for Carbona. Rui Felipe starting things off from very deep. And he uh, laid it forward uh, too far ahead of Jao Pinto and so Massaro's got the chance to really run at the opposition now and he'll whip a shot in and now we have a spectacular stop from Vita Bayer every bit as good as Rossi's one I think the goalkeeper himself enjoyed that Massaro has made it more difficult for himself by going right across the face of uh, the goal mouth but acrobatically uh, turned aside AC Milan really are seen as the yardstick by all the other clubs. They want to beat them. If they can beat AC Milan, they'll believe they can beat anyone. But at the moment, it's scoreless. Here's Andre with a good chance of a shot, only parried. And uh, Domingos still trying to get in there. And at the third time of asking, Rossi goes down, gets his hands on the ball, and Milan reprieved. Andre with the shot, went through Barese's legs and that could have been disconcerting for the keeper. Domingos continuing the challenge. But, uh, Rossi equal to it. Now Maldini. First time nudge on from him to Boban and Massaro's up the middle. So Boban holds things up. Oh, and then surely when he squares the ball it was directly to Aloisio. I see Milan drew their last game against Anderlecht, 0-0. In fact, they drew both matches with the Belgian champions, 0-0. And another free kick, and it's uh, good. And again, it's the poor little fellow, Rui Georges, who's uh, gone down. And uh, the booking it is for Carboni. And that's Carboni's second booking as well. Of, well, I this uh, European League and uh, Carboni I thought so he was booked in the first half and so he's got to walk Carboni got the yellow card in the first half he gets a second yellow and that translated into a red it means that uh, Carboni leaves Milan to battle on with ten men there he is going in too hard on the back of Rui Georges It's a dangerous place to lose the ball there by Georges Couteau and Savicevic might make him pay for that, tries to get his still here, Savicevic, and the ball is still free. If he's onside, he's not, I don't think. So Aloisio got a tackle in anyway. But Savicevic there was wriggling around in the uh, Porto penalty area. With uh, Bahia coming from his goal there, just did enough to put him off. Maldini got a touch on, that's where Savicevic was offside. It will be Porto. 
who will bring on the vastly experienced Maglaj. Experienced uh, international of many years standing. And Georges Couteau, the man who just lost that ball and put his team in jeopardy a moment or two ago, is replaced. Although I suspect he was going to be replaced anyway. Wasn't down to that incident. So Bobby Robson has played his two cards now. Andre calling for support. And then it's uh, knocked up inside that penalty area. What a great ball as well. Domingos here. Appeals for handball, not given. Domingos tries to tee it up and it's swept over the top. Magalhaes has not been on the field for 15 seconds and he's had one of their better openings. Well, for once, the Milan defence not sure of itself. Costa Curta couldn't get the ball away from Domingos. Rossi had to backtrack, and then when it's played back here, Magelheis spoons it. Come on, says Bobby Robson, lift yourselves. Gio Pinto drives his team forward once more in company with Magelheis. These two have been such a part, an inspirational part of the Porto side over so many years. Now here's one of the youngsters, Rougeurge. Nice running in, he's inside the penalty area this time, and Rossi makes the save from Drulovic. Drulovic almost had Bobby Robson leaping for glee on the touchline there. Nimble footwork, he gets inside the penalty area onto the end of Andre's pass, and that big man spreads himself well. Rossi has kept goal so efficiently tonight. Free kick given. Drulovic uh, taking a bit of a buffeting then and again we see Bobby Robson who's not sat down in this half and up they all go can they conjure up a late winning goal the free kick driven across the face of the area Kuto's in for it and uh, that's not going to count the whistle had already sounded well, the whistle had gone long long before there was anything on the end of that move. Final score here is 0-0. AC Milan have done the usual efficient containing job on Porto. It means that AC Milan end at top of Group B with eight points. And the point that Porto acquire takes them on to seven. It's good enough to carry both AC Milan and FC Porto through to a semi-final place in this season's European Champions Cup. And that, mind you, after Milan had played out the last 25 minutes with only 10 men after Carboni was sent off. But the final score is Porto nil, Milan nil.